All right, welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus. And we've got some really interesting mission here. We're doing mission number seven. And we have to kill three Exocrines. These can do really high damage from a distance that will essentially allow them to blow up a full unit of intercessors or something like that. We kill two out of three. We know that the third one is somewhere kind of here on the left side. We don't quite know where. And we've got these Tyran effects over here that we've got to worry about. And we've got a lot of tiny enemy units. Like all our brothers of the Assault Doctrine, your timing is impeccable. Ah, look at those jump packs. Seems Call brought your replacement with him as well, regardless of your new pauldron. Okay, what is the time effects going to do? I love reinforcements, I'm really happy with that. But, oh no, 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 they're going to hit both of these units at once, I think. Actually, maybe not, because that's it costs one action point to. Okay. Because it's one action point extra to move, so yeah, it can't do anything. So we get really, really lucky there, but we gotta drop it like this turn, or we're dead. I've got a good cover here, so I'm not too worried. Ah, oh, these warriors are irritating. That assault squad is very lonely there. I was trying to get it towards the Exocrine over time, but uh, we're gonna have to probably get rid of the tiny, tiny boys first. Great pistol reaction. And like I said, I'd really love to show you momentum in this episode. If we can get someone up to 100, I want to see the Empower, because I'm really excited for how that's going to look. It wasn't in the beta, so I think it's going to be great to see. I gotta drop my Tyrone effects. Gotta drop it. I'm not really sure there why when the unit ran from the top to bottom, why didn't that zone of control activate? Oh, is it because he's facing this way? So zone of control was just those three hexes and there was another unit standing there? Maybe. This is where the exocrine is. We get destroyed, but typically the mission always says like you have to destroy all the leftover enemies, so I'm probably going to hit them before just focusing on the exocrine. If the game at the end doesn't tell me that I'm going to be super mad because it tells you that every time. But, um... Use the action point to move some more? Come on. Could have just shot. What about that? There's like so many units here. <laughs> Interesting. Lots of gargoyles. We can do a lot of damage to the gargoyles, so I'm not too worried. Like a couple of assault scores, a couple of good gun damages, we should be able to handle it. Ignores movement costs and travels if you're from train. Okay. Oh no. Okay, they're thankfully dropping only like one unit at a time this time. Okay, but it moved closer to me. So the obvious question should be can I drop it? Oh, it's somewhere here. I can't quite see it. But yeah, I won't be able to get to it. Not this turn. Especially with all my heroes. We're kind of in a really bad position. They're super far from everybody. Like my Pagino's, how close can you get to anybody? Maybe if I could at least the next time? Okay, good. Excuse me, I can see it now. Could give blessings of the Omnicide to somebody, but I can't give it to anybody I care about. I could move to here with the Assault Squad, maybe throw the grenade? So I don't know if it's, it's gonna have cover against my grenade. Yeah, I think maybe the Assault Squad will just go... Sky, at this... Oh, they have Overwatch? These Gorgoyles. Um, let's see if we can activate the Overwatch with somebody else. Let's move the Hellboss to here and shoot at the Exocrine. This should be a good range for them. So I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. Supercharge? I think I'll just do a regular charge. I don't want to get that hit back. 108 damage. Beautiful. Intercessors. So the one that the enemy keeps hitting. Yeah, let's just move and shoot as well. 
didn't expect the exocrine to move in such an advantageous position for us, so I feel like we really gotta utilize that and just go at it. Tech Marine, standing by. Range of your weapon is one, two, three. If I move you here, it's gonna cost two action points. One, two, three. Yeah, we won't get a shot at this no matter what we do. So I can't use the pack here. The maximum what I can I, I can just move. So I'm just going there's really nothing here. Nothing. No enemies anywhere. Okay, so just just go forward. Something else you can do. Got a Kindar very similarly, just kind of go go behind Tecmar and Kraginox. So Tecmar and Kraginox can at least like heal brother Kindar. Yeah. I could give him armor also. I think I'm just gonna heal him. Okay. Now, brother Arturo. You won't have a shot at Tyrone effects. Where is it? No. We're gonna decide what to do with Brother Arturo later. Optimum range four. One, two, three. So if you take a step back. And we'll use the supercharge, I think. Because uh, we need to drop this Tyrone effects. I don't think we got a single 40 damage from this, which is amazing. We'll do something similar with these. Again, I'll, I'm going to use a super stash. I'm just going to risk it. I hope it doesn't kill any of my guys. It didn't seem to. Why is they really missing so much? It's okay. 76 Not HP left. Dead. I'm going to move with my guy here and use the Fury of Fists. Destination confirmed. It's overwhelmed. Oh, it moved away because it's overwhelmed. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. That's kind of cool. I'm going to use the chainsaw to murder it. It does salt squad. Right. The other assault squad. Who you want to drop? Do you need help here? I think you do. Move this other assault squad over here and just try to drop these gargoyles. Got no momentum. I was kind of hoping we could maybe stack up momentum, but we got nothing with these guys. This will just try to hit the gargoyles down. Uh, we could do assault tactics. Sure. Try to drop them. You... 18 to 24 three times. Yeah, let's just try to drop these Hermitons. Brother Couture could... Well, it's actually only three models, so healing isn't that useful here. Furioso Dreadnought. The frag cannon. Now let's just do the f the fists. Have some splash damage. It's gonna hit three units, but that's not that great. But your shots are even worse. Guess we'll use the fists at these hermogens. Hit three at least. Okay, Brother Atur, I don't think... I don't know if Brother Atur can actually heal heal him, because it's a mechanical unit, so I'm not really sure. So, the frag grenade deals splash damage? So, potentially, what we could try to do with these intercessors is do the grenade. But I honestly don't know if just a regular shot wouldn't be better off. 85% chance we could drop these guys for certain. Or... Actually, what is your shot again? Optimal is one, two, three. So if I step here... Does he get cover from Furiosa Dreadnought? Like, why do they have cover? Like, I'm literally just here. I think maybe they get cover from this unit. Kind of weird. I guess we'll just... Do we, do we want to try to get a grenade? Just the splash the single enemy unit within three tiles. Now let's just use normally uh, shoot these hermogens. Okay. If 
Predator, can you heal this? You cannot. Okay, I kind of thought so. So you just go and try to drop these Hermogens then. To do it again. My chainsaw thirsts for their blood. Getting some momentum, which is good. Mm, we want to get. I don't think we'll get zone of control at the gargoyles because of the fact that they're flying. But I, I am gonna try to move here at these thermogens. Because they're mostly using range. So in case they try to move away from me, I might be able to get like a nice hit. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try this. Okay, I've got these intercessors. Um, you could actually shoot at this. Do we have a shot from here? Now it's gonna be behind full cover. So let's just. We're just gonna go here. Look, it's a one lonely guy. He can. I can just try. <laughs> just come on, just shoot. <laughs> one to two damage eight times. But you know what? There's been quite a few times that we needed like extra ten damage to actually drop somebody. So let's just let's just try. Also, if this extra queen would try to hit this uh, this guy, that'd be amazing. Let's just go straight up to try to kind of provoke it. Hey, hey, you big monster! Hit me! Hit me! I am ready. Don't be a coward. I'm gonna give blessings on the end of the Omnissiah. Yeah, because this is these none of these are melee, so this is probably the best shot we can get. And this assault squad, what we're doing with you? You can get within four tiles of this. Yes, you can. If I move you here, but it'll be straight up in the open for these guys. I'm not gonna do it. We're just gonna go. I'm I'm just gonna go with the chainsaw at these gargoyles. We'll, we'll take that Overwatch and we'll just do it. Oh, but then the Exocrine might hit them. Oh, the that's good. That'll be unfortunate uh, instead of hitting this intercessor, but. Okay. Heavy close support. Inceptor. Interesting. Good jump pack and assault bolter. Jump. The assault bolter has an optimal range of two, but a range of one to four. So I could shoot at that. Okay. Jump to here. They're looking that way. So jump to here and shoot at this. My reinforcements. Okay, that, that that's not bad actually. That that's that's dropping nearly the entire unit. That's actually pretty great. What else? More of you. Uh you jump here and do the same to these thermogens. It's only sixty percent chance of a shot, but it's the best position we can get. Right, and then you jump here and try to finish these thermogens. That's all I want. All I want from you. Because they do get still get the swarm tactic bonus, so we want to make sure that there are not too many of them there. Our poisoned. That's fine. Oh no, warriors. And from behind, that's gonna hurt. Ouch. And this was just such a good unit to get momentum and now it's just kaput. Oh well. Oh, they get double attack, great. Shouldn't have moved them there. That's fine. <laughs> just dropped it. That, that was rough. That was... That was not great. There is no way to see it coming, really, so I'm not, like, too worried. But... We're gonna need some healing here. If I could get better at tour towards this unit, that'd be nice. Oh, zone of control attack, that's beautiful. It's kind of what I was hoping for. But we didn't get a single shot. Come on. Single hit, I mean. Sorry, not shot. Hit. If those guys move, we don't get zone of control yet. Because we weren't looking at that direction. Yeah, these guys, if they could just run towards where I throw, that'd be super helpful. Before the enemy drops them. Uh, 
really hope the, the exo king chooses to shoot that single impact test. I don't think it will, but you can always hope, I mean. Don't mention I love this game, guys. Let me know, by the way, if you want the longest series uh, on this game. I know we already did like the six missions of the beta, but I, I would love to play more of this. This game is just so good. We're probably gonna do an episode on the skirmish mode. I do have to check out whether we can play that in, in like single player. But if so, we will do an episode on that as well. Uh, we can speed this up a bit, I think. A lot of gargoyles. We've got a couple of intercessors that we could use to kind of try to drop it. But like I said, that exocrine is, is the priority still. And only once that's gone, we can focus on these tiny, tiny babies. That I've been super strong enemy in this that are, we are absolutely terrified of, okay. Yes! To end at the intercessor! Oh man, that guy is so... No, okay, it didn't. I was so happy! For his blood, I will take the chapter's due. Aw, murdered an entire unit there. Okay, who needs momentum? I want to make sure that the person who drops this... How does no one have any... Okay, take my Karginox. But you won't be able to drop it. My vigilance is eternal. We are the sons of Sanguinius. Throw the grenade. I did seven damage, seriously. Okay, Hellbusters, what kind of shot can you get? Shoot. I don't know if the, if the, if the momentum is going to be enough, and we won't be able to move. So even if you use Techman Karginox, we won't be able to get any good shots. I think we're actually going to move with him here and try to focus on these gargoyles instead. Because uh, we I don't think we would get enough momentum from this, so let's just use your power axe. Oh. Is six to eight six times, or the power axe? That's splash damage though, so let's do it. If we drop three essentially, or two, yeah, that would be three. So let's do it again. Won't be enough for the momentum, but next turn he might be able to get that momentum. Lieutenant Carlon, you could get here and probably kill it. Actually, I don't know if you're gonna be able to kill it with a single shot. If I use the jump pack. Yeah, I'm gonna use the jump pack to jump actually behind this because then I'll get two hits. Uh, well, he'll get hit by Overwatch. Don't care, I think. No, didn't activate Overwatch. Hit it. So you might not be able to drop it. Yes, he can. Good, 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 good. It's not gonna help him with momentum much. But Twenty momentum. Now we have to remain uh, kill the remaining forces as always. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I, I was aware of that happening and not just... Okay, you need to be three away. So one step that way and then shoot. How is it only 45% chance? Not really sure, but I guess I'll shoot regardless. Hellblasters. Your deal shot is also four away. Oh, you already did your turn. Got a Kindar. Come here. Oh, where are the warriors? The ones that dropped my assault squad. Here. Could I get a shot at them with Red Kindar? I'll be able to get there. But I, oh, at least I can shoot from like a distance. Stormbolter, at least the I can do that. Do it again. It's kind of hoping we drop a model, but now he's shooting at a different guy. Okay. Now, here we've got Brother Arturo. I want it to heal this Assault Squad. But the Assault Squad can walk away, so I think I'm going to try to kill this unit. And maybe Brother Arturo could move from the top, like into this position. I can't. Wait, this Assault Squad, move forward. 
and use your chainsaw the to kill this. So that our tour can get here. Great. If you move here, you'll get the hit. Sanguinary priesthood serves the will of the chapter. I'm gonna use this dreadnought to murder this these hermitons. It's a bit of a waste of his abilities because he could do better. But I need to get that tour 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 there. So kill this. The splash damage, you should be able to hit them both. Beautiful. Now Gara Arturo is going to get to... Actually, you could now move like this. Now, Gara Arturo will heal them. And then... So Gara Arturo just use the chainsaw on the stone down. Are we on momentum? 92, so we're almost done with Red Arturo. And 71 with three also Red Knot, so we're close. Not quite there, but close. Okay, I can shoot here. Or just, uh, no, let's shoot with these gargles. That's pretty awesome. Hellblasters, they have zero momentum. This is a bit sad. Do I need help here? Not really. Uh, I'm gonna use them to kill this, but I, I really want to leave some damage for different Kraginox so he can get that momentum next turn. Oh, I just want to see what that empower thing does. Um, I'm gonna move this uh, up here and just kill Kill this Tarmajan. We don't care about momentum with any of these. Well, actually, with Brother Arturo it would be nice, but Brother Arturo could actually move uh, towards the Gargoyles for future turns, so he would still be able to. And we can also heal this unit next turn as well. Okay. Now, these Inceptors, we gotta keep shooting. Your best range is 2. 90% chance to hit, that's plenty. In the meantime, I'm gonna move with the rest of these units so that we can get a shot at. The other set of Thermogowns. Yeah. Alright, end our turn. Okay, another poison here. We're doing pretty well here. Okay, that warriors. Uh, I was hoping they would go at the at Red Kindar. I think that's Red Kindar. Yeah. I chosen to hit hit my uh, my intercessors. I I guess that's fine. It's nothing too much to worry about. It's only six units remaining. Isn't there like 12 before or something like that? It's just like 6, it's pretty cool. Gonna be able to drop them quite easily. <laughs> that one intercessor, he tried so hard though. And I mean he died after that Exorcine was dead, so he got his revenge. He made it work. Oh, this I love the zone of control attacks, it's beautiful. They're overwhelmed, which means so overwhelmed means that they lose their movement pass. That's pretty interesting. I don't know if, if over, I don't think overwhelmed was in part of the beta. I actually think that's like a new, new thing. Overwhelmed. Interesting. Not sure what causes overwhelmed. I know that when you when you're like moving and the enemy gets a pistol reaction, they can stop you. So I mean, I think that's what overwhelmed is. Yeah, yeah, it was in the beta. It just maybe wasn't called overwhelmed. Maybe we just never encountered it in the beta. It's also possible. Let's use Tekra and Kraginox and just try to drop some of these so we could the get that momentum. Will destroy you. Is it enough? Not yet. Let's do it again. Come on, get that to hundred. Yes, we did it, we did it. Okay, what does Empower do? Give this uh, the option to use an upgraded version of an ability. Oh, so it's like a one time? We're gonna click on it. Oh, I see. So it, if you had enough action points, it would allow you to use an ability but because we don't have enough action, it's actually useless. So in this case, it would have been better to use just the search. But I wanted to, to just like figure out what it does. Okay. 
So with Brother, so for example, with Brother Arturo, when we when we kill these gargoyles, we're gonna be able to get an increased heal, and because we still have that action points, we can actually use it. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna move with these guys here, Brother Arturo. Now, because we do have an action point, this would heal 35, and we're gonna empower. So this will now use 80. So we can we should be able to heal them up to full HP. Yeah, so that's actually really cool. Like I like that a lot. Um, I originally thought it would be something like a permanent upgrade or something. It's like a one-time ability, but it can still be quite useful. And essentially, the 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 decision making is fairly simple here. Like if you don't have action points, you're going to be using the search so you can get that attack. And if you do have action points, you're going to be using the ability in most cases. Oh, uh, where are enemies? Only four enemies remaining. Hello, blasters. Yeah, you need a shot. Four, one, two, three, four. I need a shot at these gargoyles. I'm gonna use supercharge. So at this point, it doesn't matter even if, if one of them dies. We don't really care. Almost dropped an entire unit. We'll do the same here, hit these other gargoyles. Because uh, Tekma and Kagina cannot do anything, so... These intercessors, go here and drop these gargoyles. And Lieutenant Carlon should go and try to hit up these Thermogens. We have two units remaining, so these Thermogens and then- Oh, those warriors up there, maybe we should have gone up there to help. Uh, Brother Kindar. I mean, nah, he can handle it himself. He's pretty cool. Let's try to drop this. Let's see, who else haven't had a turn? Yeah, all these, all these units here. So we're just gonna move them around and just give them all a shot. Well, not all. I don't think we need all of them. We'll just give some of them a shot. Yeah, okay. That's there. Yeah, these hell blasters need to go and help Brother Kindar. So where are these warriors is the question. Oh, they're here. Okay, I'm gonna have to pay one movement to even just get there. These hell blasters will shoot at them from- Oh, actually, we're gonna get an attack from behind. That's actually really good. From both units. So we're gonna use a super charge attack with the hell blasters. I think that extra range accuracy on the Hellblast is actually really useful. And then we'll do like a Forest Halberd here and we should be able to finish it. Nah, not quite there. Ah, uh, we won't have a shot there, so we're just gonna end the turn. Overwatch confirm and just pass forward. The area yeah. has been cleansed of Xenos presence. They will not return. The synaptic link remains. Take in this moment. Very few get to fight within the place of challenge as a full-blooded Astartes. Carleon, Batrano, report. We have finished securing the place of challenge. The reinforcements were greatly appreciated. Brother Quindar is taking us to another synaptic cluster from here. With haste, brother. You bear a cascade of orders from myself to Dante to the Avenging Sun himself. Lord Gilliman is reluctant to leave while this question mark of a synaptic network remains. Do not keep the Indomitus Crusade waiting. We want. Right. I hope you enjoyed this mission. If you did write another comments, let me know if you want a longer series. And if you do choose to do that, you can click on the right to watch it. And you should, because we're going to see a brand new unit, apparently. But only in the next episode. See you there.